So, how to prepare your tea leaf reading? It's important to have the right shaped cup so you can get a good view from all angles. Please don't use a mug. Cups from the supermarket are ideal. You can get a large one for about £4. You may wonder about what type of tea to use. Loose tea is best. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Again, the supermarket is good. I think Ceylon tea is a good choice. You can break open a tea bag if you're desperate, but the results won't be as good. When you get more experience, you can experiment with types such as green tea and different herbs such as rosehip, which is good for love questions, and mugwort, renowned for psychic and mediumship work. Get your saucer or small plate and kitchen towel ready. You will only need a quarter of a teaspoon of tea. Less is definitely more. Don't be tempted to put too much in. The results will only confuse you. Now boil your kettle and it is time to set your intention. It is best to have your own little routine. Ask to be shown what you need to know right now. You can be more specific and ask a question such as Please show me what's happening in the next three months. Please show me something about my love life, job, business, finances, house move, etc. You can also ask this question for a friend or a client. I like to hold the cup for a while. You may like to meditate for five minutes while the tea is brewing and even write down any insights you might have. Now the tea is brewed, it's time to turn it over. The fun part and a little bit stressful at first getting the action right. I like to give the cup an extra swirl first. It is a good idea to check how much liquid you have in at this stage. If you aren't drinking the tea, it might be a good idea to pour some away. Just leave enough in to cover the bottom of the cup. It's quite tricky to show on camera the turning action. Practice with an empty cup at first. So you're doing it quite slowly, but the last bit should be quick. Please don't break your cup as you set it down. It's a custom to tap the cup three times. It's like opening a doorway to the unknown. Wait another couple of minutes and then reveal. Voila. Grab your smartphone or camera and take pictures of the cup from all angles. Zoom in on anything that looks interesting. Make sure you get good photos and make sure you zoom in on the sides and, and the bottom, especially the bottom. And finally, you may like to have some resources at hand if you're a beginner and starting out that will help you understand the symbols. Obviously, in the long term, you will have your own meanings for the symbols, what it means to you. Please don't spend a lot of money on books, etc. You can start this hobby for less than £10. Have a look for second-hand tea leaf books or dream dictionaries. Often the old books are the best. You can also use dream and tea leaf apps and websites. Auntie Flo is a good example. If you are really stuck, I would say look at the dream meanings. Remember to have fun.